Hello, everybody. Turtle Primo back here. So I'm sorry for that long period I had of just not being on. I had a hard time trying to figure out what my next video was going to be. And as soon as I figured it out, I had to get all the gear I needed for it. And then guess what happened? DLC 4 came out. Exciting crap, but... Boy, did it make it hard to make this new video, but here it is. So, this is the Mozerker 5.0 build. It is the latest Mozerker build. It is possibly, and probably, at the moment, at the very least, I'll say that, um, my favorite build. I haven't tried all of the builds that are out right now, but this one's exciting. Because it makes Moe's just incredible. She is everywhere. She is doing everything. She doesn't need to be an Iron Bear all the time. If you want to stay an Iron Bear, you are completely welcome to. But watch that. See, as soon as Iron Bear dies, you go right back into Iron Bear. Get the hell out after you shoot a little bit. And then... Well, on this point, I gotta wait. So, I'm just skip right over that and here we go back to the fighting so as you can see here this right there that is one of my more favorite guns out of this build it's going to be the I believe that's the beacon I gotta check later because it's been a little bit for me here um we're doing a lot of new builds so bear with me but this thing it does a huge amount of damage if I remember correctly it does about 20,000 even without the little radiation damage I got there and that radiation damage is just critical especially with the transformer I have on when it's not another radiation that is all electrical damage as soon as my shield breaks Here's the Monarch, possibly a staple for most of Moses' builds as I've seen. Um, great gun, I wish it wasn't ice, I wish I could find the fire one, but... Now this is actually very different, and I noticed that. Rowan's Call I have not seen on a Moes in a while. Uh, does great though, as you, can, as you will see here. As soon as I can get out. Oh, oh yeah. I killed her right here. Never mind. But let's see here. I'm going to get a good gun here. I just got to get over to these fiery flames of lava or whatever the hell they are. Grab a few things that I saw that I are brand new. There's the Convergence. Another gun you need for the Moz Mozerker build. Great gun. So that gun right there, that is the EM. It is a great, great gun if you need to get somewhere really quick. <laughs> but it does actually a pretty decent job of some damage. I'm just going to change a couple things here. So here's my new mod. That's I had on the Minesweeper, which drops those little mini grenades. I'm going to switch to the Blastmaster. It's got to pick one of these two. Not a huge difference between them, except for the fact that one is a little better modifier for what I'm going to plan to use. Um... Here we go. So, here's the amp. Look at this. Just demolish that guy. I feel kind of bad that I did that to him, but not really. Let's get to the convergence. Watch this. Just explosions and ricochets everywhere. I mean, this is a splash, like amazing amount of splash damage it does a lot of damage in general splash damage is your very big one though which is why one of the best guns you can get for this build is the prompt critical it needs to be in this build you need that gun it is instrumental some of the mods are more instrumental but that is a very good that is a very good gun to have you cannot do this build or it'll be at least a lot harder because look at this this is the soul renderer it does a lot of damage but oi it just it just murders I don't have it on right 
I, I don't have the sapper mod. I wish I did. When I did this video, I only very recently got it. And didn't want to keep you guys waiting on what I thought about this this build. It is, again, like I said, the best Moe's build I have found so far. Um, so, look at this. That just destroyed it. Uh, let's go. This guy, this guy has a little immunity to anything really corrosive. Of course, for some reason my game likes to do that. I don't know why, considering my build is meant mostly for splash damage, so you'd think they would choose a bit more radiation or fire. Oh well. Um, so as soon as you get out of Iron Bear in this build, you have a bit more speed, you have a little more damage. I'm just going to change a few guns here. So, that was the prompt critical. I'm going to put on the Soul. The Chaosin. Uh, actually, that was the Chaosin I just got off. Sorry, the Soul Render. Prompt critical. Got to keep that EM. I'm going to change the Convergence out for the COV gun. Yeah, you heard me right. The COV gun, the more Bruisen's Rebound. That is possibly... Another good gun that I that you got a DLC for for this build. It is just fantastic. Like all COV guns, tire clip to the max. That is your ammo. And look at this. Just destroyed that guy. He was even getting the Nog's shield regenerator. And it just destroyed it. It just demolished it. Killed two other guys right after that. Just gone. Watch this. Look at that. He didn't even have a chance. I actually feel bad for the guy. And then look at this. Even with all that splash damage and fire damage I'm doing, this gun is just demolishing him. The only issue I have with this is the reload time. You need to really focus on that in the Guardian ranks if you're going to do this build, is to get that reload time down. Or in this case the fix time down <laughs> overheat time um, but like COV guns it does overheat so you just gotta find that little mix between holding that trigger down and letting it just kinda sp splatter uh, so here we go back to killing this guy just a great kill look at that oh look at this it's like they are coming to you just to die. That's all they're good for. This guy doesn't even have an attribute and look at that. I mean, it's just a slaughterhouse. So the reason I picked the build I did is because it gives me a quarter of their life to me after they die. I believe that is the modifier I have on my mod. I have to look. Vampire is great. Um... Look at this badass. He's just trying so hard, but this COV gun, it just, oh. I, I love it. I love every second of this gun. I'm not sure I could find a better gun for Moe's than this. Actually, I can. It's probably the Sandhawk, which I kept from the previous build, Mozurker 4.0. This is Mozurker 5.0, like I said. Great gun. Good if you're doing a trying to run through the boss it's really quick. The only issue is if without the sapper mod, that sandhawk is going to take a lot of your ammo. So if you're just gonna be farming Tom and Zam, it's gonna take a bit. I don't use the grenade he recommends because I'm having a hard time finding it. So, at that point, just use a grenade you're comfortable with and go from there. So, quick little run over here to another whole little thing of just randos. Look at that. I love this gun. You know, in theory, I probably should have shown off a little more. But, I was a little focused. So, part of the things I like to do with this Iron Bear is I let him use the tracking, because I'm not that good at aiming. <laughs> that is not my strong suit. 
I do have been I have been getting better as you can see but those rockets are a lot better with that aiming to me I'm okay losing that extra time of iron bear because I have my recharge up down so much with my guardian ability and now for the big fun Yeah, you guys know where I'm going. If I can get around the pillar. Just look at this. He is just... The EM, while it is not your best gun, it can get you out of a couple of good... of some smaller issues. It can get you out of those. Don't rely on it, though. You will get screwed over in the end. So here's Tron. Watch this. More Bruce's rebound. Get that shield gone. A little bit. Then switch over to Iron Bear. Shoot him a little bit. Get that shield nice and low. Crits. Get those crits. And then watch. You're about to see possibly my favorite part of this. The prompt. Critical. Watch that. Look at that. Look at that. Those things are just gone, gone, gone. I already revived. I didn't even, I barely even died. I'm just that good. Four, five. Five hits, he's gone. The only issue with this one is the sapper mod. If I actually had it, it would not be regenerating shots. So you have to really be careful. I go a little slower so I can get more hits and not have to reload. The Alchemist is okay. It's going to have some issues. Uh, the Damned, I'll check it. I checked that out. And I'll actually rephrase that. I checked it out later. It didn't do that well, but possibly could do good for another build later. I'll have to look. Now, this is a one I just wanted to see how he would do. And it didn't do too bad. I mean, Iron Bear is doing a lot of the work here, but that's mostly because, well, it's it's Troy. He's taking up a lot of your time with that whole immune crap. And then, prompt critical, prompt critical, and we're back to that immunity because he's draining his sister, even though she's there <laughs> so that's gonna kill these little tanks hop in hop out because you don't want to stay in and be too long if you're like to play it like I am you could probably stay in there if you wanted but mm, kind of pointless to me because iron bear is fantastic all on his own and two shooters is better than one. I don't stay in his shield even though he does have it. I just let him kind of draw the ability. Uses drawing use uses that ability of him just being huge in general and drawing the attacks. And I just go in for the damage shots. Yeah, can't win. You're like three quarters gone, and I haven't even used this yet. Oh, look at that. Threw some skulls at him. Just gonna hop in really quick. Hop out. Come to the asteroids. Get behind that little pillar. Back to the soul renderer. So while you're doing the um, boss matches, remember to use the Minesweeper because it's going to generate little mini grenades. That is important. If you use the Blastmaster, it's going to make the splash damage a lot bigger. It's nice when you're doing little mobbing of just tons and tons of randos, but to boy, it's just not going to do... 
the amount of damage you need it to do. And bye bye. Maya avenged. Huh. Don't think she said that last time. That is actually a pretty okay gun. It could have been better. And there are better guns to use. If you're needing a good little gun to sub out, that's a great one. Um, I don't know why there's no audio on this clip, but not huge, not a huge deal. I mean, it's just me killing some ra some uh, racks, some <laughs> skags, because I wanted to see how this build would do against um, Road Dog and some other bandits and skags see how he did that uh, did actually did pretty good so in the end what I'm gonna put down this build for is I would put if I was to rank this build out of 9 out of 10 10 being just slicing everything to death and 1 being a toddler going up against a rack or a skag or the destroyer I would probably say this is a nine nine and a half because this build while it doesn't always destroy everything say for instance if you don't have the right modifiers in some of your guns or the anointed anointed gunner things like that if you have most of it though if you have most of the good build um, I don't know why I grabbed that gun. <laughs> I just now noticed that. I feel like an idiot. Hopefully I change gun really quick or I'm just... Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that bugged me. Um, you have most of the right gear. You're going to be fine. This build is quite possibly my favorite. Killer6 just did a great job on this build. Really appreciate all the time and effort he put into this. Uh, if you want to see more of his builds, you should probably go over to his channel, give it a like, subscribe to it, all that. I and um, I would probably say that his build is possibly one of the favorites I've ever had. Um, but yeah, nine and a half out of ten, or nine out of ten, just because I feel. Like, there probably is somewhere improvement. I don't know where. I'm not that smart. I'm just good enough to know that this is a great build. I mean, look how often I'm dying. And even on the badasses, I am shredding the pieces with this prompt critical. Coming back to life with a second win. Jumping into Iron Bear. Killing a couple people. Getting out. And just demolishing. Um, well... That does it for me today. Hope you guys had a great time. Leave a comment below if you ha what you thought about the video. If you uh, have an idea of what I should do next for another build review. I am planning to do a few of these at the very least. Probably you'll see a few that I builds that I like and a few builds that I think are trash. Uh, trust me, I'll find a few. Uh, all builds are, yes everybody, my builds are the builds I like won't be the same builds that you like. Maybe you'll disagree with me and say this build is not as good as it could have been. Maybe you think the build was lower. I, I don't know. I mean, this is a great build to me. This is a great build if you're a Moe's player. But that's that's completely up to me. Um, thank you again for showing up. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in next time for another review.